to paying a mortgage or covering the cost of all natural treatments for cancer. A Taunton woman chose the second option and bought a bus. Iowa Dish News reporter Wafi Cho explains this upcoming road trip in this week's Street Story. About a year ago, this bus was carrying kids to and from school. Now it's about to carry a message. Denise Souza was told leukemia would end her life in three to six months. It was heart-wrenching to me, and it was like, I can't believe this is happening. Is this real? That was almost three years ago. She made a decision back when her frightening journey started to shift to an all-plant diet and natural treatments like high-dose vitamin C IVs. I'm going to share my story, and I'm going to make it known that conventional treatment isn't for everyone. But vitamin, oxygen treatments, and ozone therapy added up to a more than $2,000 a month tab. And none of it is covered by insurance the way much more expensive chemotherapy is. So when she realized she could not afford her house and her choice, she bought the bus and sold off a couple of other things to turn it into a home. Enough room for you? Enough room for me and two dogs. She doused the school bus yellow with a durable truck bed charcoal gray. She did most of the work herself, including the penny peppered countertop and the bathroom in the back where the cool kids probably sat. It's a larger picture. The solar panels on the roof will help her live off the grid almost anywhere she wants. Does the solar power sort of fit into the whole message of health or no? Yes, it's a sustainable living. Plus, there's a deck up here to get a better view of everything from Yellowstone to the Pacific because that is the next step. Sousa will track a coast-to-coast -coast trail to let anyone willing to listen or follow her on social media know if cancer strikes, there is a choice. I want to be a voice for people who aren't able to be a voice or people who are gone and I'm going to be okay and cancer is not going to take me out of this world. Maybe getting hit by a moose on a trail somewhere. I refuse to go out without a fight and the fight is going to be my way and that's the all natural way. The schoolie bus hits the road at the end of the month. We'll tell you how you can follow her journey on WPRI.com. In Taunton, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.